Hello, my name is Alexander Francesco. I'm a data analytics bit provider and Tableau certified associate. Today, I want to show you how we can apply Benford's law to the Superstore dataset, more specifically to the sales data. Benford's law is a statistical rule that states uh, that the first digit in a numerical in a numerical uh, in numerical data. Uh, follows a certain distribution, the number 1 appearing roughly 30% of the time and the number 9 roughly 4.5%. So, uh, Benford's law has been used to either detect uh, fraud, be it credit card, transaction, tax fraud. It's been used to even detect electoral fraud. Uh, it can be used to approve, uh, disprove or approve certain scientific studies which tackle uh, numerical constants or variables. And it's uh, even considered proof in the U.S. courthouses if, if it can be proven in cases of fraud. Okay, so let's create a calculated field first, which will bring us our sales first digit. So this will be left, string, sales, position one. This will bring me the first digit of each transaction. Bring it on the columns, we get our digits from zero to nine. Benford's law doesn't uh, work on zero, so we'll exclude them. Now let's bring our number of records onto rows, and we get this nice bar chart, which looks like Benford's distribution. Let's do a quick table calc, percent the total, and we see that 1 is 30.87, and 9 is 4.38. So roughly it follows Benford's law. But I want to bring Benford's law next to it. So I'll do another calculated field called Benford's law sales. And this will be log of int sales first digit, and we'll add one, minus log of int sales first digit. This is the measure. Tableau will Obviously, aggregate the measure, so I want to go into default properties and say aggregation minimum. And let's also make it a percentage from number format. So if you bring that here in rows, we see our two distributions. They look like they're following the same curve, but we can check this out more with dual access and synchronized access. Let's make Benford's law a Gantt and number of records a bar. And let's change up the colors a bit. Benford's all green and this a gray. So we see in green are uh, Benford's law and in gray are sales data. So they follow Benford's law. So what would uh, fraudulent data look like? Uh, this is still dummy data, the superstore. Tableau did a good job generating it uh, overall, but there are certain slip ups. If you look at subcategory, more specifically machines, here's a big gap in one, which we find it distributed in three, in six, in four. So this would be a first alarm if these were transactions that there's something wrong with this person or this account, and we should investigate further because it doesn't follow Penford's law. Mainly when people fabricate data or try to fool uh, uh, create phony data, they don't follow this geometric distribution, they rather do a uniform distribution like these three, or a Gaussian distribution, you can imagine a Gauss bell here going down, so a normal distribution. The human brain can generate data this way. Thank you for your time, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us.